first first album, Tyler, on such a massive occasion. Talk to us about it. Yeah, surreal, like say, unbelievable experience. Um, not prepared for this, basically. Yeah, so so delighted. And what did Vera say to you when you were coming on and how did you feel? Because it was coming on early just before half time. Yeah, I warmed up two or three times because Vera kept going down. I was nervous and didn't to think, am I coming on, am I not? And, and Vera just gave me the instructions of kind of picking up number four, staying with her, and staying defensive and sticking to the team plan. And yeah, tonight it's worked. Talk to us about the goal, the run, the header. Um, it felt like it was in the air for ages. I, I don't know how I found myself so free um, and then I could kind of feel the keeper was coming but I just thought focus on the flight of the ball and like say hit my head it went in if it didn't I just said to, 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 to Emma that I would have stayed down and, and claimed a penalty because she's absolutely cut of my leg um, but yeah like I said it's gone, gone in the net and I'm yeah, absolutely buzzing. Did you have family here tonight, Lily? I'm not sure of your. Uh, so my beliefs. partners come over, um, and two of my friends. My mum's going to come with everyone, um, but the, you'll you'll all know the the expense of the hotels and so on to get everyone over and so on. And I was unsure what role I might play tonight, and so yeah, they actually. My mum's going to have the worst regrets, um, but yeah, I'd like I say, it's still very nice to have my partner and friends over. Yeah. And your your Irish roots is a Cork. Yeah, yeah, down in Cove, Cork, my grandma. She's not here with us, but she'll definitely be watching over me. I think she has every step of the way. Um, I've had nothing but great luck, and you know, I, I owe that to her. I'd imagine it's free drinks and cool for life, though, after tonight. I hope so, I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and visit ASAP. Okay, in terms of scoring a goal like that tonight, we now have a playoff coming up, potentially one game, two game, we don't know, but that's a message to the manager that you're able to score goals. Yeah, it is. I think, like I say, I'm happy to play whatever role that is. I think Vera sees me quite defensive within this team. Um, I'm happy to play whatever role, as I say, that she she feels. And yeah, um, like I say, whatever is needed for the team. You mentioned you got your leg clattered. Will you be okay for Tuesday? I hope so. I've got a bit of a dead leg right now. I keep icing it, as you can see, and holding it. Um, hopefully, it's just a bit of a dead leg. I can run it off in a few days. In terms of the ambience within the group, what it's like tonight, and just on the, the build-up to the game, like this, such a like a monumental game. What's it been like? I, mean, I don't know how much time you've been able to get out of the dressing room with everything that's going on, but what has it been like in the, the half an hour or three minutes afterwards? Yeah, I think obviously you see from the goal, everyone was absolutely, you know, I, I don't even know my celebration. I was just screaming. I think everyone was screaming in my ear, and then to hear kind of the stadium and everyone going crazy and. I haven't really had a chance to see the girls, but I saw lots of the boys and girls after and their support. And yeah, honestly, it's a night I'll never forget. And the chips got around the pitch afterwards with the actual supporters in the stand. That was a nice moment. Too. Yeah, it was. It was like I say, Vera said no partying, but we, we, we really started to, to celebrate out there. Lily, um, you made a difference right from almost your first touch of the ball in the, in the first half and gave Ireland a whole new impetus in the first half. Were you expecting to get on even earlier than you did, or did you think you were going to get on just before halftime? I honestly didn't know what to prepare for today. I think, obviously, we knew the team and the girls that were starting. I was ready to, to play one minute, whether I was needed, no minutes, stay on the bench, whatever was needed, I was you know, going to be ready. And Yeah, I warmed up and down a few times, and like I said, I was very nervous, to be fair, when Rusha was like this. I thought, right, it's me, I've got to get ready, I'm going on, and I just tried to zone out almost and focus on the team task and yeah just try and do my best out there and like I say hopefully I made an impact. So is 12 your new lucky number? <laughs> it must be, it must be. <laughs> All the numbers I've had so far have actually been really lucky so I like the fact that it keeps changing. Tonight's obviously a pinnacle Lily but just lastly what has your Irish experience been overall like being with this group what's it been like? Honestly such a special group um, the girls the staff everyone has made me feel so welcome um, and honestly like tonight goosebumps throughout and yeah like it's emotional like I wanted to cry scream I didn't know all the feelings and yeah I think I need to keep pinching myself and you know ultimately all these girls and the staff deserve this and like I say I'm, I'm so excited for the future with this team. Okay.